Good evening, everybody. I'm Melissa with Malicious Seven Deadly Seeds, and tonight is basically going to be a long rant. Um, I did grab a couple things that I haven't had before. Um, I've had um, some of these, but in different versions. Um, so, for instance, I've had I had the century egg. This is just boiled salt duck egg. I thought I would try this something new, and then. This is Tobiko Black. My understanding is smelt row is basically fish eggs. Um, so I haven't had the black before, but I've had the orange, which is basically just salt water pockets. But, and I got salt and pepper here. I like salt and pepper. These two go together. So anyways, while I open this up, I am not only am I, I'm working on dinner too, um, but I've noticed, and I'm sure everybody else has, um, like retail stores, it's not even October yet, and it is getting to the point to where you can't find Halloween stuff, it's Christmas stuff. So, I am a Halloween fanatic, I absolutely love Nightmare Before Christmas, which also brings me to the topic of Nightmare Before Christmas. Last night, they had the 30th anniversary tumbler from Starbucks on Chap. Shop Disney for sale. I stayed up until midnight hoping that I would be able to purchase this. It was in my cart and I was getting ready to check out and it says, oops, looks like somebody else has the same taste as you. Try finding something else that's sold out. It was 12.04. It was released at 12 o'clock. How did it get sold out? I wanna know, how did it get sold out so fast? If it's bots, that's messed up. Second, if it's due to people buying 10 at a time so that way they can turn around and sell for 60 bucks for people who are stupid like me who absolutely love Nightmare Before Christmas, it upsets me because I stayed up late trying to get that Tumblr. And anyways, that, not only that, um, I purchased, or thought I purchased, a... Um, Dish set and an Oogie Boogie like Funko Pop from uh, a check from Facebook. And come to find out, I basically donated money to her for ripping me off. But whatever. Um, I believe in karma, so what comes around goes around. Um, with, with that, um, brings me to also, I go shopping. I found that I like Moonlit Graveyard and Vampire Blood scents from Bed from Bath, Bath and Body Works. I always get those two mixed up. Forgive me. Bath and Body Works. I went there to pick up my order because I did place an online order because um, I know if I go in there, I'll spend more. And they were having a sale on their wallflowers. And I really wanted the, the Moonlit Graveyard wallflowers. Excuse me. So... Going in there, I'm looking around and I find a couple more scents that I really like. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I go up to the lady and I was like, okay, do you have any more of the Moonlit um, Graveyard uh, candles? She goes, oh no, um, we're making room for Christmas. Moonlit Graveyard and Vampire Blood are Christmas or fall scents. I'm gonna break this with my teeth. Um, and it's not even October 1st, and now you can't get either of those scents. So I'm I'm kind of like upset because it's like, not only has Halloween not happened, neither has Thanksgiving. I do not like Christmas. I don't like Christmas. It's overrated. Um, a lot of things. I mean, people, yeah, they're, they, they become grateful or they're grateful for everybody, you know, Black Friday and Thanksgiving and whatnot. But then Black Friday comes and everybody runs you over. Excuse me. So, okay, I'm gonna. Okay, it smells like a normal egg. Okay, I'm multitasking. I'm making um, a barb, which is, was it Thai? It's, I call it Thai, it's almost like Thai taco meat, but it, instead of like cumin and um, garlic powder and that kind of stuff, it's made with cilantro, shallot, garlic, uh, mint, um, ground pork. I use ground pork. Um, 
and then um what's the other item you have, like brown rice and then you you grind it i'm gonna sneeze excuse me Whew. okay hold on one second i'm gonna stir this So anyways, I ground the pork, I add the garlic, I add the cilantro. I use the cheater cheater tube of the cilantro because I don't feel like messing with the freaking dirt. I don't like cilantro, but for some reason in this and a couple other things, I do like cilantro because there's other flavors that kind of cover up that soapy taste. Yes, I have that soapy taste thing. It's a genetic thing. I'm going to sneeze again. Anyways, I was downstairs. Um cutting up peppers so anyways this is a salted duck egg it's basically a hard-boiled duck egg um i am going to try this on salt and pepper i don't know hopefully it's much better than um the century eggs beat the crap out of it oh this looks it definitely does not look like a hard-boiled egg it has a red tint to it. I guess I could have read it. Well, it did say red core, so it's weird because the the eggshell itself has almost like a green hue to it. Okay, it smells, it smells like a hard-boiled egg. Right, okay, so this part here accidentally, you kind of see there's the egg yolk. It's kind of thin on that side, so peeling this, peeling it. Oh, and there's some soft spots. It almost looks like an eyeball. Oh, it doesn't really. I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. Okay. Oh. Sure. Oh. It really doesn't smell like anything. Okay. I'm gonna. Wait. <laughs> it kind of looks weird. It's like an eyeball. I'm gonna. Maybe it's from sniffing the pepper. Alright. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't even taste like a hard-boiled egg. The yolk itself, I'm not sure if I want to know, but it's, it has a gritty texture, almost like they had ground up stuff and kind of like made a really thick paste. It's very salty. So now I'm going to have to look up on how, or the... I don't know what you would call it. Let's see here. I don't know. Anybody can read that? Yeah, it's up right. They don't have it. It just said, let's see. It just says cooked salted duck egg, red core. That sneeze good. Whew. It, it's more orangey to me. Believe it or not, you almost don't even need any salt or pepper. This actually like, this would actually be good on salad without anything on it. But again, oh my gosh, you would think I ate a pepper, but this is what it is. It's actually really good. I check on my food.
excuse me. All right, next thing I'm gonna try. Excuse me. Is Tobiko Black. It's basically, it's fish eggs. I'm just gonna take a spoonful of this. Ooh. Okay, so it smells smoky. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so I just had a bond moment and I dumped it all over the table. But that's what's left. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna take a spoonful of this stuff. Okay. It looks like. It's funny when you look at it, it looks like one of those like crafts foam sponges. All the little tiny little. Oh, it's kind of. It's funny because it looks. Oh, my poor little bat flew away. It's got. It looks black, but if you look in the light, it actually looks green. Okay, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> it's like little pockets of salt. It's like smoky salt. I'm actually going to have another one of these eggs. Alright, so. I want to know who my Halloween fans are and my Christmas fans. 